During my golden jubilee, smileys from around the world volunteered their gifts, not only of wealth, but most notably of time and knowledge in support of our work. We established a time and knowledge framework, a structured process for engaging an immense pool of expertise involving tens of thousands of volunteers. Many of them travel to the developing countries as part of this outpouring of service. Their impact has been enormous in helping us to achieve best practice standards in our institutions and programs. The notion of uh, sharing knowledge, the notion of giving of one's intellectual capacity for the improvement of quality of life of others has been a central ethic in Islam for since the beginning. I think that is a familial tradition, right from probably grandfather and father and all the brothers and even children and nieces and nephews, we are all involved in the seva. And this is our lifeblood. Just the financial saving on recruiting a professor level intervention cardiologist is, is, is massive. I mean, I would not want to give a number, but it's, it's massive savings. The whole attitude to train local staff and the whole approach towards mentoring the local folks, that is so much more valuable than the financial savings. That cannot be quantified. For us, the TKN volunteer is not a replacement for somebody who's paid. They actually bring knowledge and expertise that we don't have and cannot get in the countries where we work. In food services, where we had a volunteer who still works with us as a TKN volunteer part-time and from a distance monitors, supports, advises our people on the campuses, has helped save the university over a million dollars a year, just in cost savings, in better buying, in better uh, efficiencies, uh, and, in, and also that's in addition to improve quality and improve nutritious value of the food. We created healthy food and meals and eliminated use of sodium, sugar levels, and fat content in meals throughout the campus. The monies that we saved from efficiency and purchasing better and, and in utilizing ingredients much, much better, that money can go to patient welfare. So it would help patients who would otherwise not be able to afford the care, but in this way we can now support more patients uh, than we were able to do previously. I felt that coconut water was better. Kenya had no recycling program, so we did not know where to put these plastic bottles. And uh, the coconut water had nutritional uh, benefits. It also helped with the local economy. I went to a street in Mombasa and got a coconut seller to come to the school with hundreds of coconuts. That improved his lot in life. 75% of the volunteers that we've used in the last 10 years have been TKN volunteers. What is striking about the statistics when we look at them is that on average a TKN assignment allows us to educate one child from a rural area that would have had no opportunity for such an education. Completely changes their lives and gives them the opportunity to then impact their families, their communities and their societies. Every time I make an announcement in my reception area that I'm going to be away from this date to that date, they come into my room and say, vacation again? And I have to explain to them and they say, yeah, yeah, yeah. now my patients know. They say, we know you're going to go do volunteer work. It's okay, go ahead, good for you. <laughs> there is a lot of pleasure in seeing a community get better. There's a lot of pleasure in seeing people having confidence in their own local doctors and utilizing them well. Uh, health is a prerequisite for education e economic. If you don't have health, you cannot pursue your education, you cannot pursue a good profession. When opportunities came to formally serve somewhere and use my professional expertise, I did it because it gives a great deal of personal satisfaction 
It is not something you can go around bragging about. It is not something you can describe. Anybody who wants to come along here, your attitude should be, I'm here to serve, to give. Come to the institutions with that sense of a gift to the Imam of your time and knowledge. Don't come with expectations because there are enormous opportunities that are available to you and chances are you will gain far more from it than you will have actually pledged because it's an enormous gift that, that you will be presenting to the Imam uh, and the blessing of that is, is a, the barakat of that is almost a, a thousand percent or more. From a personal perspective, I've grown so much as an individual. My appreciation for the world and people has changed uh, drastically. Um, I think I've become a very simple creature. Uh, I appreciate the little things now. Um, and from a professional perspective, um, I feel like I have a 360 degree kind of knowledge base now. I understand um, that not everything comes as easily as sometimes it does uh, in Canada because there are hurdles that I wouldn't be aware of uh, if I wasn't here. TKNs have been very, very good, both in terms of rapidly producing the results, but also producing those results at the right quality. Gaps which otherwise would have cost us exorbitant sums of, of money, uh, those gaps we've filled with um, the right kinds of skills and motivation at a very affordable or, in our case, almost no cost. It's like a, a shot in the arm of energy to the organization. Volunteers are our core and key element to the work that we do. What we have been able to get with volunteers and with the TKN volunteers in particular is an increase in capacity, increase in talent, increase in the efficiency with which we can provide service to the Jamaat. I was a teenager at the time when uh, there was a civil war in Tajikistan and that was a major conflict that influenced my life and the life of people around me and especially our generation. I see alternative dispute resolution as a very effective way of mitigating conflict. There is a lot of satisfaction uh, when you conduct a training, which is a five-day, 40 hours training. And then later on, you see the trainees when they're already working with the communities. And they refer to you sometimes even as, as a teacher, which is a very respectful form. And you realize that, indeed, that little contribution that you try to make, it, it um, gets there. It makes a little change. And, that is a very rewarding experience. I can safely say that we've changed the way mediations or dispute resolution was being practiced in the Jamaat. In the end, when the program ends, I had women saying thank you. There cannot be any more bigger reward than that. It was just amazing. It was just it was heartwarming, it was breathtaking, uh, that these are like 60-year-old, 70-year-old women, you know, and they sat through their training program, took very active part in it. At the end, they said, thank you for, you know, training us and letting us know how to go forward in this. So, uh, nothing beats that. Uh, no, it's the amount of satisfaction you get out of that, nothing beats that. You know, the work that I have done in early childhood and seeing what impact the programs have on children and their families. What research tells us about those earliest moments in life where you start developing, uh, you know, the, the capacities of children which have far-reaching benefits into adulthood. These are seeds that we're planting just now and I hope that, you know, I'm still around 20 or 30 years from now to be able to see these children now who we've been working with and to see what contribution they end up making.
in order to know uh, how to approach each child, you, you, you should be highly qualified in psychology, in pedagogy, and this is what we are getting from our uh, professional volunteers who are much ahead in their education system. Absolutely, TKN is the way to go, and it doesn't necessarily have to be internationally. It could be um, in your own community at home as well. But assess your goals, don't use TKN as a means to an end, um, and remember that it's there really as a service um, to the Jamaat and to the institution. Be prepared to take on uh, new challenges, but also be prepared that there would be so much more coming as a result of it and so many new opportunities that you could never even think of. Jump in both the feet because this is an opportunity given by the Imam, you should not miss it. They should be fully prepared to be flexible. Very often the assignment is written out as one thing. When you come to the field, you may be expected to do something else or you may find that the ground is not ready to do what they wanted to be done and you come in as a professional and identify two or three uh, prerequisites that need to be accomplished and they look at you and say, so can you work on those? And you go, yeah, but I wanted to work on number five and you want me to do number one to four. And you have to be flexible because there's pleasure in reaching that number five as well. Time is number one. You're giving time, contributing to something that is good for it. You're not the owner, we have to realize that. And similarly with the knowledge, knowledge can be divided into the intellect, learned knowledge, acquired knowledge, but finally the intellect is God's gift from which the knowledge comes. As Imam's future vision of this endeavor is not to be specifically tied to a jubilee, in other words, a spike that you offer it only at the time of a jubilee, but to having a structure in place that will allow Murids at any time of their life who wish to come forward to offer their generosity of intellectual capacity that we can have the ability to, to accept that uh, and take it on. Even though it is a gift from them to the Imam, for him it is important that they actually go away thinking I gained more out of that experience then I have actually gifted. That there is this sense of fulfillment, there's this sense of satisfaction, there's this sense of, of feeling I really contributed to something. Our many thanks and our gratitude to the professional volunteers uh, from the world who are just offering their service just from the bottom of their heart, uh, being very sincere and to become source of uh, motivation. I want to thank you, all of you. Humility. Contribution. Seva. Passion. Unconditional. Enriching experience. Serving the Imam. Strength of the Jamaat. Dedication. Giving back. Life-changing. Gratitude. Love to Imam. <laughs>